I want to thank our members in both houses for the support and the commitment in making sure that our legislative agenda carries a day in Parliament. And uh, I want to say that we'll continue to engage all the time so that we are all looking at things the same way because we serve the people of Kenya and we all belong to the same administration. Your Excellency, let me thank you once more for always having time to engage with elected leaders. It is your philosophy that elected leaders are very important and you cannot get far without their input. And that is why when the executive literate was convened, you insisted that the legislature should be here so that we discuss and not talk in this, the same language. I want to ask our cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries to replicate what the president and I do when we are going out there. Anytime the president is going to a county, the planning is done together with elected leaders, especially from this side of the people who support the government. We want to ask our cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries when you have some programs in a certain county. Please talk to the elected leaders. You are in the national government, and these are the people we work together in the national government. Let us involve them. And if the president has time to engage them, I have time to engage them. You should also have time to engage them. And I also want to plead with our CSS and our PSS, don't relegate consultation of elected leaders to your personal assistance. Do it personally. Because we do so ourselves. When we are going out, the president creates a day to engage with leaders from that region, understand the issues, agree on the program, and everything is very seamless. I do the same. So let us from here have time to talk to elected leaders because it is the, it is the right thing uh, to do. Again, we also want to ask the leadership of parliament to also consider much as you have the role to oversight government and call our ministers to parliament. Sometimes it becomes very difficult for us to work because our ministers are perpetually in the house, in different committees. I think your excellency will request a meeting with the leadership so that we agree on how to balance between ministers appearing in parliament to answer questions and also be available to serve. Because sometimes even we have cabinet committees, we are not able to prosecute our agenda because ministers are in and out of parliament. But I believe with some engagement with the leadership, we can agree on an acceptable way where we allow ministers to function at the same time they appear before uh, uh, parliament.